A primer coat should be applied to the vertical surface to allow the mastic asphalt to bond. Expanded metal lathe should be incorporated to surfaces if the height is greater than 300 millimeters. The mastic product is unpacked and heated in the mastic asphalt mixer, where it can be easily distributed to the working areas. The first layer is then applied by trowel or wooden float. The second layer is then applied creating a smooth monolith finish. The complete thickness should total 13 mm plus or minus 3. The substrate must be clean and dry. A separation layer or either sheafing felt or glass fibre tissue should be laid between the substrate and the mastic asphalt. Alternatively, a torch on membrane could be used in a fully adhered system. The first layer is then applied at a thickness of 10 mm. The second layer is then applied over the first layer, staggering joints at a minimum of 75 mm. The thickness of the second layer depends on the specified system. Sand is applied to the product while it is hot. A mastic asphalt fillet is applied to reinforce the horizontal and vertical layer. Outlets should be cast bronze metal type. They should be primed, then two layers of mastic asphalt should be applied. Mastic asphalt should not be applied to PVC pipes. All specialist detailing will require consultation. We ensure our clients get a proven quality product produced to British standards manufactured to the ISO 9000 quality management system and carries BBA certificates. We take the extra step of having systems undergo a leak detection test before they are signed off. The system carries an unrivaled 20-year system warranty. Although the British Research Establishment Digest 144 states, if properly designed and laid, a mastic asphalt roof should prove capable of lasting 50 to 60 years. Correctly designed and installed, it will outlast any other system on the market.